Hey, I just wanted to take a minute to shoot this quick video and introduce you to the next series of videos that I'm going to be shooting on the YouTube channel here. So the next series I'm going to do is going to be a series focusing on a DIY uh, solar photovoltaic install. So that's basically solar panels that produce electricity. So right, two, two different main types of solar panels, electricity and thermal, um, which can be like a hot water heating panel. We're going to do some photovoltaic electric. So I'm going to be showing you how to install about a four and a half kilowatt system is what we're going to do. And I'm going to walk you through the whole thing, but I kind of want to give you some idea of what you can expect and explain some of the goals that I have for you in releasing this series. So you, so you kind of know what you're in for. So this series is really going to be a mix of sort of two different things, right? Two different kind of genres or categories that it could fall under. One is going to be kind of the, the how to, how do you actually do this? What does it actually look like to install one of these yourself, right? And then the other one is going to be kind of more the vlog style. It's going to be the experience of it. And I think both of these things are important for a number of reasons. One, it's good to know like, hey, exactly what do I need to do to install this? Like, what are the tools required? What are the steps? What is it like? I need to know exactly how and why to do it. Kind of the brass tacks, the nuts and bolts that how-to educational style. The other one is sort of the uh, the story, the vlog, the experience, the uh, mistakes that are made along the way. I wanna leave those in there for one reason, well, a couple of reasons, but mainly they, it comes down to, I messed some things up. I paid the stupid tax, and hopefully I've paid the stupid tax so you don't have to. And I wanna share, you, share with you some of those failures, some of those things, uh, and just sort of the experience of it, because there's parts where it's like, okay, it's good to expect and know what's coming and what to do, but it's also good to kind of know this, here's here's how it feels in the moment, here's some of the questions that I had that I got confused by, that I didn't know at the time, that I had to look up later, that I had to figure out, and sort of, sort of that story aspect of it. So I wanna include some of that as well, so you know like those things can happen and those are some things you can expect when you go through this process. So this series is gonna be kind of a weird marriage between those two things. Some videos will focus more on one than the other, so really what I want for you is to pick whatever one's whatever one and whatever style is more relevant to you, uh, and maybe it's both, and go from there so you can figure out what is specific to your situation. There's going to be some things that are gonna be very specific to my state and my local jurisdiction here in Minnesota, and other things that aren't gonna be. So if you're in Minnesota, this might make a lot of sense. You're gonna be like, oh, this is exactly what I need to know. But I'm also gonna try to do this weird mix of, while speaking specifically to those things, because that was the circumstance that I installed these panels in, I also want to speak to the broader category of, okay, so if you are in a different state, has different laws, here's some of the other things that you need to check and at least give some helpful resources so you can start to figure out what are those things in your own uh, state and then also local government kind of rules, regulations, those types of things that you have to comply with. So those are the two kind of videos that I'm going to show um, that we're going to have in this series. And then at the very end, we're gonna, I'm gonna come back and I'm going to release some of the more uh, concept videos, some of the design, some of the, like this would be sizing a system, designing a system. Uh, this will also be like personal finance, those types of things. So, but at the beginning here, I'm going to assume that we're kind of coming from the same place, that if you're watching the series, you don't need to be convinced of the payback, the finance. Uh, you also don't need to be convinced of sort of maybe some of those environmental reasons uh, and values as to why you might be doing this. I'm gonna assume that right now if you're watching this series we share those and at the end i'm going to come back and release some of those videos the reason i'm going to do that at the end of the series is because i'm going to go back and essentially recreate the system design because when i was sitting down to design the system and figuring out some of the things that i was going to have in this system i didn't know at the time what i was doing right so i didn't think to record because i was like well i have like 20 ideas and i don't know which one of them i'm actually going to execute on so i'm not sure what videos to film. So I'll go back and recreate those and then we'll also do a recap. So kind of like a end of the process overall, what were my thoughts, what were my experiences, recommendations, ideas, tips, those types of things, hopefully, right? That's why they say hindsight is 2020 because you really don't know until it's in the rear view mirror. Then you know, well, now knowing what I would have known, this is what I would have done different. So in that sense, I've paid the stupid tax, so hopefully you don't have to. That's what I'm trying to help you out with here um, while also giving you that Here's the kind of experience side you can expect of things, the process, and then here's the actual like how to figure in it out, the tools you need, what that process actually looks like, how do you actually get those panels up and install them 
yourself. The next thing I want to uh, basically just encourage you with is this is actually pretty easy. Um, there's definitely going to be some hard parts and challenging parts and you'll see those throughout the city series. But what I want to do at the beginning here is just sort of introduce you and kind of give you the confidence. I mean, honestly, if you can change out a tire, uh, you can change out a solar panel. And if you're sitting here like, I can change out a tire, well, let's fix that and we'll work on that. Okay. So hopefully through learning this, we'll give you the skills that uh, you, you'll be able to do that. I mean, really it comes down to this. It's like we are five or six years old again and we're really just playing with Legos. Um, that's it. So I hope this series is going to feel like that. I feel like, like we're just having fun, playing Legos, solving problems, creating, building things, uh, just exercising our creative uh, capacities that we've been given and entrusted with as stewards. And so as you experience that though, obviously it's a little different, right? But basically it comes down to that. We're simply playing Legos. It's just that the pieces got more complicated. Some of them are electrified and some of them can kill you. But that was true of Legos when we were six or seven too. So <laughs> that's really all we're doing here. Um, so I want to encourage you with that. If you can play with Legos, you can probably figure this out. Okay. It's not going to be that difficult. I want to walk you through everything in the process and sort of, yeah, kind of give you some recommendations and just sort of share the experience of, Hey, if you're thinking about doing a DIY install for whatever reason, right? Maybe it's to save money. Maybe it's uh, a, a number of different things. I want to kind of give you those pieces. So those are some things that you can expect along the way in this series, sort of the introduction for, for what's coming here in the next uh, few months. And um, yeah, I'm currently, as I'm filming this intro video, I'm right in the middle of it. I've been, uh, we're not quite to the point where we have it hooked up and are producing energy yet, but we're hopefully going to get there soon. And so I'll, as we, I start releasing these, I'll be able to share a good experience of what that was like. So um, I am at six or seven months ago that I actually installed the panels on my roof. So I hope to also provide some insight of like, hey, there's also like a process you have to go through legally to comply with like your utility company and your state and sometimes your local government as well. And that can be kind of complex and I'm not going to be able to solve that for every um, city and county government across the whole US. So, um, but I want to give you a picture into what that process looked like here in my situation and hopefully give you some pointers, point you in the right direction to say, Hey, here's how you figure that out for your specific state. So that's what I got for you. I hope this will be uh, an encouragement to you and a fun thing. And if you're interested in this or thinking about doing this, I hope this gives you a good idea of what to expect. And, um, really, I just want to tell you at this point that, that you can do it. Uh, you are capable, you have what it takes. And even if you don't, you can get what it takes. All right. That's not hard to do. Um, so that's what I hope to share with you and encourage you with. And yeah, let's go out there and make our own power and build some cool stuff because, uh, like what else do we have to do with life? All right, take one. Boo! Boo!